I went on Facebook one morning and it said, Car uh, Turtle Torsha Day at Columbia Memorial Hospital. And I went, what are they talking about? And then I found out that he, he went there, he always went to the hospital for breakfast every morning. For, he said it was the best breakfast in town. And that, that day they put on uh, a tablecloth out for him. They marked his table with his name on it and treated him like he was royalty. And I, I mean, I thought, Turtle Torsha Day at Columbia Memorial Hospital? And everybody knew him up there. Everybody, he knew everybody. And he knew every, they even named a sandwich after him. So, I mean, what can I say? He was an unusual person. That's all I can say. So, my name is Kyle, but he called me Carl. And uh, he, uh, I think he purposely did that. And uh, I'm not sure why, but I think that might have been a joke towards Brittany. I don't know. I couldn't tell. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, we uh, we carry it on now, so now every time we get the whole family together, they just call me Carl, just just for him. So, pretty good stuff. Who made the flowers? Um, I did. <laughs> How long did it take? About seven days to do everything. Mm -hmm. okay. And I did it because I love my daughter-in-law tremendously, and my grandson. And um, we love Turtle, and that's what this is about. Nothing else, just the love, just the love, baby. <laughs> yeah, as, as his oldest brother, Mickey, I, I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, my sister couldn't be here. Uh, her grandson's getting being married today, so I'm sure she got Turtle in her prayers. On behalf of his family, uh, the commanders of VFW Post 1314, and uh, the Hudson American Legion Post 184, we welcome you to what promises to be a memorable memorial service for Carmen Charles Torsha. That's his full given name. But to all, he was simply known as Turtle. So that's the name you'll hear most often today. My name is Rick Holland, for whatever that's worth, and I'm chaplain for the American Legion Post 184, and I thank my commander, who's out there in the field, um, and uh, the VFW Commander Joe Drabick for this opportunity to represent both organizations. And for the record, and uh, many of you may not know this, and it needs to be said, sirs, that today is Armed Forces Day. This is the day that Americans around the world celebrate the service of their armed forces to this nation. And there are other nations that have also picked up on this, so it's becoming a little bit of an international event. And as I was putting the remarks together, I couldn't think of a better, more fortuitous situation than to have this event for Turtle on, on Forces Day. He would have gotten a kick out of that. And later on, you've got to tell some stories, especially the, 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 the gentleman I'm going to introduce a little bit later, the one in the full blues. Um, they deserve a lot of credit. I'm not going to go any further than that. Um, we're going to begin with an invocation, and an invocation is a prayer that calls upon God to be a witness, and in this case, the witness to proceedings today on behalf of Turtle, and to ask his favor, and specifically again today, for Turtle. So let us pray. Lord of the universe, we are gathered here today to remember and to honor your son, Charles Carmen Torsha and his life as father, grandfather, friend, and of course, veteran. We ask you to stand watch over us and him in today's service as we look at the good of the whole man, including Turtle's faith in you, as well as his love of family, friends, community, and of course, his unwavering love of country. We give thanks for those whose efforts make today possible. Armed Forces Day. We honor our veterans, past and present, including POWs and MIAs, worthy men and women like Carmen Torsha, who gave and continue to give their best when called upon to serve and protect this nation. We pray that you bless them, Lord, especially now and for all time for their unselfish service in the continual struggle to preserve our freedoms, our safety, and our country's heritage for all of us. And we Bless, please bless us as we honor Turtle Torsha. Amen. Please be seated. And now I'd like to call um, Chelsea Torsha, uh, Turtle's daughter. And her job is going to be to introduce all the family.
Good morning, everybody, and we thank you for coming out um, to celebrate my father, um, Carmen Turtle Torsha. Um, I'm not great with stuff like this, so just kind of bear with me here. Um, I just wanted to introduce some members of the family. Um, as I introduce them, if I could just have them stand up so that everybody can see them. Um, the first is I'm going to introduce my sister, um, his daughter, Brittany, well, Brittany Louder, Brittany Torsha Louder. Um, I also would like to introduce his brother, Michael Torsha Sr., and his wife, Kathleen Torsha, as well as his cousins, Mickey and Alice. Um, my Aunt Missy and her wife, Jill. And my son is around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. And the absolute love of his life and who he considered to be his whole world and his boy, um, my son, Julian Peacock, um, who was absolutely everything to him. Um, and that's it. Thank you. There are a couple of other introductions I would like to make. Um, First of all, uh, we have a couple of dignitaries here, uh, Judge Jonathan Nichols, or the Judge Nichols, <laughs> and Judge Freddie Schultz. Fred, where are you? There he is. Thank you for your service. Um, Command Sergeant Major Gary Flaherty, uh, the Veterans Service Agent for Columbia County. Um, and from personal experience, I can tell you that from w what he's done for my family and others that I know, he's probably the top veterans agent in the country. Yeah. That'll, that'll come on my paycheck. Um, <laughs> you know how that goes. But I important at this point, I need to really introduce and pay special homage to two distinguished visitors here today who are going to take over this ceremony. We have from West Point, and this is really very unusual, we have Colonel Scott Burgill and Major Tom Dull. And uh, if anybody knows Chris Gibson, um, the Major served with Chris Gibson as uh, company commander when uh, Congressman Colonel Gibson was uh, brigade commander. Is that correct? Well, thank you both for your service and for being here today. This is quite an honor. So right now, if I could call upon our Legion commander, our Legion commander for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two.
President of the United States, the United States Army, and a grateful nation. Please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved ones' honorable and faithful service. Well, there are a couple of changes in the program, and uh, so we're going to be going right to the benediction. Uh, following the benediction, I'm going to say a few words like a post-benediction, but a special paternal. And um, I would ask that following that, um, the I guess the expression is um, reflections on life. If people have anything to say uh, about turtle. Um, that's the formal part. You can tell some funny stories, great remembrances, and we invite you to do that. So with that, the benediction. Now is the time for the benediction, and it's, an, it's a, an invocation, except it comes at the end of a service, and it asks a breath blessing. So let us pray. Uh, let us play, pray, Lord, for your blessing. We have done our best in congregation to honor Turtle, and we ask that you bless those here today and those whose memory remains. Especially, we ask peace for the family and blessings on the soul of Carmen Charles Torsha. Amen. So everybody be seated, and uh, who would like to tell some, a story or two, a remembrance? It could be funny. Well, this ought to be good. <laughs> this is Judge Nichols. He's, he's a uh, Supreme, Supreme Court judge here and a part-time comedian. <laughs> Uh, Turtles, Chelsea, Turtles family, uh, welcome. Uh, thank you so much for making everybody a part of this, frankly, uh, to remember your dad. Uh, so everyone knows uh, I work in the county courthouse. Uh, we have several members of our staff here as well. And we worked with Turtle well over a decade. Chelsea, you may remember when he came to work with us. I don't really recall the exact year. I, do, I, I'll, I could have a story for every minute going on all day <laughs> because of Turtle's unique personality and he brought with him uh, a certain presence at that courthouse that we still have. And uh, let me put it this way, his colorful use of the English language <laughs> is something we will all remember and probably learn some things from. Um, but I have two things that come to mind. One is um, Turtle would always pick up loose change throughout the community when he walked. He's actually his brother laughing. It, but what we didn't know at the time is he donates that. He donated that money. So one day in the courthouse, to play a joke on him, one of our deputies glued dimes to the main st staircase. <laughs> and Turtle was frustrated. Of course, we all went down to watch, you know, to get the, to get the uh, comedic event out of it. And Turtle, of course, he had some choice words for us all once he figured out that it was a joke, but promptly went downstairs to maintenance, got a chisel, and took him off and put him in his pocket. The other story is, I, I can't remember how he came to the courthouse, frankly. He worked for the county for DPW, right, Charles? Yeah. And I don't know who connected who, but we needed a, 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 we needed a custodian, uh -huh. right? And I can remember Turtle comes, and I don't know Turtle Torsha at that point. I know the Turtle, the, you know, the Torsha name. And somebody says, oh, yeah, but the problem is he's got, he's got a criminal record. I said, oh, what, what, what is it? Possession of gambling records. So I go, misdemeanor or felony? Misdemeanor. I said, well, you know, really around Hudson, that's like a resume builder, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, I'll leave it to somebody else after that. I can go on all day. Hi, everybody. My uh, name is Leo Dolan. I was uh, born and raised on Allen Street below 3rd. You could walk to the corner and Ritter's Mom and Pop store and then Russo's, and if you walk one block, you would get to the Hudson Boys Club. And that's where I encountered, and I use that word <laughs> deliberately, <laughs> encountered uh, Turtle. He was uh, just amazing, and I think some of his uh, 
I'm sure I'm raised a Catholic as Turtle was, but I still have a lot of purgatory if I make the team or not, but <laughs> for some of the things that happened with uh, Turtle, because one of the funniest things about him was when he got mad, he was incredible. He'd go into this tirade, and you could be, you could be at any point in the boys' club, and you would know Turtle was miffed about something, okay? <laughs> And because it was somewhat funny, we um, would stir the pot once in a while, and that's what the Lord's going to hold me accountable for. But between uh, the Boys Club and the Paramount Grill, I mean, it was just amazing. And I'm surprised that <coughs> it was only a misdemeanor for the gambling. Um, <laughs> so that might mean that he had some kind of an in, because I, I remember that, and I have to, because some of you can... Uh, tell somebody's attorney or the judge will represent them, uh, so I'll be involved in some kind of a libelous action, etc. But, you know, the, <clears throat> the Italian mob, supposedly, I think there's one, but they said there was one in the city, came up and established Friar Tuck across the river because there was a movement at the time that there was going to be gambling, gambling that was legalized. Well, it fell through, but they had a guy who was kind of like their bouncer who made a contact with several people from Hudson, and then they did the gambling thing, okay? And Turtle was on the periphery of that. He wasn't, uh, you know, the major domo, et cetera. And I could remember when I used to call on a Sunday and place a football bet. Uh, I went to Fordham University in the city, and there was a baseball player named Frankie Frisch, the Fordham Flash. So when I called up, I'd say, this is the Flash. And they used to laugh at me and mock me. And then there was somebody whose daughter got in trouble over Massachusetts and drugs, and they used that. They called him on the phone and said, we'll do something for your daughter if you whatever. And they had his name and who it was and everything. So they never got the flash, okay? <laughs> but Turtle would advise me about little things like that, how to miss it, whatever. And I can tell you, growing up with him at that time was great. Thanks. I retired from the City of Hudson Police Department in 2006, and I got to know Turtle over a number of years to include his sister and brother-in-law. Um, Turtle was a very unique. I told Chelsea the other day, you know, people don't realize Turtle was not an important person, but he was a very special person. There was something about Turtle that everybody liked. And from my point of view, at that time, I was in law enforcement. And it wasn't unknown when I came on in the mid-70s that Turtle had a very focus on playing the numbers and making sure that people got paid or the people that owed. And my partner, Bill Osuch, and I one day spotted Turtle on a small scooter going down the street. We started to chase him down Columbia Street, and as we came around, he was gone. And as the story evolves, he drove down the alley. The people at the high rise, which is Bliss Towers and Hudson, saw him, opened the front door of the building. Turtle drove into the building, and they opened the back door, and he went out to the building and went over to his apartment. Well, we stopped at North 2nd Street and Bliss Towers, and it was like he just completely vanished off the face of the earth. So Bill said, where would he go? I said, he's just gone. I mean, we don't even have a scooter. Ten minutes later, as we had draw drawn around a block, here's Turtle walking up Columbia Street, and he's waving to us as we're walking by. So, But he was a, a very enlightening, like I said, not an important person, but somebody special. And uh, there were a lot of people that he had an influence. I know there were a lot of people that uh, borrowed numerous cash off Turtle with the understand, don't worry, we'll, we'll pay you back. Well, if he's got the book out today, I'm quite sure today's the day. If anybody needs repaying, he'll <laughs> gladly take that on. Thanks, Rick. Yes, do you want to say a few words? Just a few. I hate to follow Gary. <laughs> oh, you ought to hear the really good ones. These have been cleaned up. <laughs> I hate following tall people. Uh, 
Telsey, uh, his good friend Vito said he couldn't be here. He's still serving five to ten. So, <laughs> but uh, I, I first met Turtle, really got to know him. Uh, 2007, I was a guest speaker at Memorial Day. I remember asking the commander, how long do you want me to talk? He said, ten minutes. I go, ten minutes? Huh? So I got to seven. So I got done. I thought I did a good job. And the father come up to me, and then nice, nicely, you know, he had a good way about him. He said, that was very lovely. <laughs> With a few other words, and he said, but you were so long. I go, long, turtle, seven minutes. That's too long, you know. <laughs> so I haven't forgotten that. But I really got to know him working at the courthouse, because we would, we would have lunch together. And, you know, behind that rough exterior was a heart of gold. He really, really cared for people and handed out money like crazy. Never gave me a dime, <laughs> but he handed out money like crazy. And I want to end this with, I never understood one thing, and I never asked him, why the heck we, he was a Baltimore Orioles fan? I'll never know, but thank you. God bless you, Tony. And I kept it short. <laughs> Okay, uh, last call for stories or remembrances. He's angry, guys. He's angry. He's angry. He's mad at me again. I sure did. I was the only guy that could really, uh, really get him mad. I believe it. We grew up together. I first met Turtle, he was the mayor of the Charles Williams Playground. He taught me how to pitch pennies. I joined the boys club, who's there? Turtle! He taught me how to pitch, taught me how to shoot pool, play ping pong, pitch quarters and nickels. I go join the service, I come home, I leave, I'm at the Paramount Grill, who walks in? Turtle. And this went on all our lives. But I, I got it all over you. I'm the one who can make them mad. And <laughs> matter of fact, he told Chelsea I couldn't be here, but Chelsea says, yes, he is. So here I am. Thank you. Anyone else? Family? Yes. Yes? <laughs> you want to say something? Yeah. Go ahead. What, Not, what do you want to say? Hold on, wait a minute. I can, I can say we got a rock singer here. Here you go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your manager's here. Yeah. You want to say something nice about Poppy? Yeah. Whoa. Is this you, Poppy? What's your favorite thing about Poppy? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Poppy's boy, is that correct? That's Poppy's boy. Poppy's boy. Uh, he'll be recording for Deco Records. <laughs> okay. Any anyone else? You sure? Speak now. All right. Well, I have I have some stories in Turtle. Nothing as good as the judge, and he'll tell you the really good ones later if you sort of sidle up next to him. But um, I was going to put this in the original benediction, and I didn't think it was appropriate. So let's call this a benediction on upon a benediction, you know, upon a benediction. All I can say is we've done our best. Lord, he's all yours. So thank you for coming today. So I just want to say thank you to our distinguished visitors um, who came down to represent my father. Really appreciate it. Um, I would also like to thank the American Legion 184 for all of their help and the VFW Post 1314 for coming out today and presenting their colors on behalf of my father. Um, and thank you for everybody who's here um, to be here for my father and represent the person that he was. So thank you.
Oh, no, no, no.